This video will show you some of the tips and tricks that you can use to navigate the new version 11 software. First tip, remember the uh, auto wiper over here, you push it in and the windshield wipers go, right? Got that? So how do you heck do you get to the windshield wipers now? If you remember, it was an icon right down here. You would click it, it would pop up as a card, you would set it. So you can certainly hit this, go into the menu, and you'll find them here. Ah, that's too many buttons. How about you just click the button here, and look here, and look what pops up. All of the controls for your windshield wipers. After a few seconds, it disappears. No more trying to go into a menu or make changes. So let's look at that again. I push the button on the end of the turn signal, the windshield wipers go, I get the menu popping up here, and I can make the appropriate changes. Works very well. Here is the version 3 main screen here in the Model Y. It happens to be the same in all the Teslas. So they moved around a few things, but essentially it's all the same. The blue autopilot ball is much smaller, but it does show up the same in the top left-hand corner here. As we can see over here, we've got park, reverse, neutral, and drive is also shown there. It shows up as blue like you would normally find on any type of autopilot while you're in autopilot. We have the speed limit now in the left-hand corner of 40 miles an hour. It's our speed limit set here and the light conditions. I've changed my wheels and uh, the TPMSs have not sunk up yet here in this car, so that's why we're getting this fault here. But the screen is essentially exactly the same as it was, plus you've got functionality that uh, you normally don't have in the older version across the bottom here. And we went through that in my previous video. So how in the heck do I adjust the seat heat? Here's how you do it. You have the temperature on my side, and you have a little up arrow and a little down arrow. All you have to do is touch either the up arrow or the down arrow, and look what pops up. There you go. Adjust your seat heat. Put it on auto if that's what you want. You can adjust your defrosters, either in the cool mode or in the hot mode or you can turn the rear defroster on, whatever suits you, right here. You can also set split, and as you know, split allows this guy to have a different temperature than me over here. And essentially they're the same. I hit the up down arrow on the right, pops up over there, or I can hit it over on the left, look, and I can also adjust things here. Makes it real easy. So how in the heck do we get to the fan controls? It used to be a little fan right here. How do you do that? Just touch the temperature. There you go. You can do seats, rear seats, front seats, steering wheel, and whatever else. You can adjust all of your, your controls for the fan coming out of the front of the car. That's all done here. Now, to get rid of it, swipe it down. Now you say, gee, I'm driving along and I gotta put my finger on this control. No, you don't. Anywhere along the bottom, just take it, swipe up. There you go. Just that easy. Now over on the steering wheel, of course, is our volume. And uh, what happens when I turn it? It shows up just like normal. I can mute it or whatever I need to, the same control by pushing in. Over on the right side, we have our distance, following distance here on autopilot or on traffic aware cruise control. That remains the same here with this button. Instead of showing up a little higher, now it shows up a little lower. You want to drive down and you want to check your state of charge. Well, how do you do that? Well, here's how you do it. Up here in the top is a symbol of a battery and on the uh, next to it is your distance in miles. And maybe you're a percentage person and you say, gee, I don't want to see what miles. Us old guys like miles. So I touch the miles and look what happens. 
it turns the percentage. I can turn it back. Now what happens when I touch the battery symbol? I get the panel showing the state of charge here. All the same controls. I can adjust the charge rate here using the arrow. Uh, I can do unlock the ports, adjust the power, adjust the, the charge current, all these things right here. Get rid of it. I can either hit the button here or I can hit the battery up here again and it goes away. That's very cool without trying to get into some of the other menus. All right, last but not least, these are just a few hacks that I found. How in the heck do we check the tire pressure? Well, remember there used to be a card here. You had to try to slide it. I had trouble. If you go too much, look what happens. You move the map. That was always hard. And then over here were the trips, right? That was just as hard trying to find the trips. So here's how you do it. Hit the car, hit service, and there you go. There's your tire pressures. Just that simple. And if you don't want that, you want to say, gee whiz, how do we do the trips? Hit the car, hit the trips. There's your trips. Much better than sliding that darn card left and right and trying to get it. I was always all over the place in the process. Well, that's it. That's all the tricks and tips I have for you in this video. Thanks for watching. I'll look for you in the next one and take care.